Alright, what's up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels back with more diecast and today we have the very highly anticipated matchbox action drivers police station dispatch so this set is one of the newest ones released and even teased um maybe a month or two ago this was even um an unknown set and then it started getting leaked across the internet and then now we have it which is pretty quick um thanks to jack d on facebook uh, a couple of people in the comments have tagged me in these or posted on different social medias letting me know that um, you found these or seen leaks of it, which is cool because sometimes I miss them. And then when we all work together, we get to hunt things down faster. So I really appreciate all the help that people give me um, in finding these sets and tips and those kind of things. So shout out to everyone. Um, teamwork. Yay. So this set is really cool. I think this is one that people have really been looking forward to the police station. Um, obviously it goes well with the fire station and then all the other city parts in the background. Uh, this one has a lot of stuff to it. Obviously, lights and sound, which, which is cool. It comes with the car. A helicopter, just like the hospital rescue set. Um, it says right here, land the helicopter and dispatch three cars, I think at one time, which is kind of cool. It also has one of the moving people, uh, which a lot of these Matchbox Action Driver sets has. The Pizza Hut. Uh, man, I'm trying to think what else. The bus station. A lot of them. A lot of these. Uh, oh, and this, this one. I, I don't think the fire station does. Um, security gate exit stop at the maintenance pump which is just like a little pump but here is the back of the box for those who, who, of you who have not seen it there is a lot of different things on this one it's looking pretty good I like the fence how it's like um, like the one almost like, not like a barbed wire fence but you see in a, see them a lot of times in like downtown areas to keep people from climbing into an area they're like this style fence it's almost the same style fence that was on the little jurassic park set uh i previewed uh, but two weeks ago or something so there's a lot of different things on this one i'm really excited to open it so let's go ahead and do it whoop um i got this one off amazon i'm trying to think when i bought it sunday maybe saturday or sunday so it only took a few days to get here uh, i just got it in the mail today so i'm trying to get this up as soon as possible because i'm really excited about it and i know people love these sets too so ta-da okay just like normal we probably have the instructions with the stickers doo -doo. and these come with anyone that has the lights and sound always comes with an extra warning because of the batteries that are included. Whoop, there are the stickers. Not too many, mostly for the helicopter. Um, so it doesn't look like it's gonna be a ton of different parts. Uh, cool, let me open this up just to check and see. Nice. Oh, they even tease that it can connect to the other ones too. Disassemble and recycle. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's pull these parts out and see what we got here piece of road another piece of road the main base which has the ramp oh this is actually kind of a detailed base it's got the um little dots here that matchbox has included on a lot of these bases to help the car like kind of stop the car which is cool it's got the little parking blocks the handicap spot uh the one two three like parking spots for the police cars that pop out as demonstrated on the box this is probably where the building goes a lot of arrows and different parking areas on this space so let's see that looks like the main gate Oop. probably like that that's cool okay here's the helicopter landing pad and it has a button so i assume that might activate a sound of some sort i don't know it's hard to tell yet uh, but they put that decal or that sticker on there for you so you don't have to worry about that and it's on there pretty well it's pretty um, pretty centered, so I'm happy about that one. It's got a nice Matchbox logo all over it. All right, let's see what else. Oh, oh, that's the bag of the parts. Okay, let's see what else here. This looks like the glass tower part. That's hard to get out. I'm going to grab all the little stuff out. So here's all the fencing, um, the little gate, more fencing. I'm trying to get this out without busting it up because it's like the glass part. So... Uh, I'm thankful that Matchbox has started doing that to protect the glass. Um, it doesn't have any, it might have a little bit of scratch on it, um, but nothing too bad. So there it is, there's some police officers like going down the hallway, that realistic art that Matchbox is really um, good about putting on there. Oh, look at the little security camera, the door, it's got that nice glass on the front, glass over here, little door does open. Oh! Uh, no, it doesn't look like it, but it's pretty nice. Matchbox, they got the Matchbox is really, really good about, um, oh, about um, putting their logo all over stuff. 
more parking spaces, four or five hundred, nineteen hundred, twenty. Oh. Oh, look at the little old garage area too. Cool, this is looking good so far. A lot of promise from the base. So there is the little helicopter. It doesn't have the, um, what do they call them, rotors? Because that is probably in this packet. So we'll go ahead and open up this packet too. See what we got in there. So there is the little police sign, um, a little matchbox flag, which already has the sticker on it. There is the moving parts guy. Uh, so you have to install that. Ooh, looks like he's directing traffic with his little neon vest. I have a vest just like that for when I go do drone work around streets and stuff. It's dorky, but it keeps you safe. So there is the rotors for the helicopter right there. Uh, more fence pieces, the little gate. Um, there is a nice sliding fence piece, piece which is kind of cool. Whoop. And then we have the little like air pump for the maintenance section. And then I'm not exactly sure what this is. It looks like a satellite antenna. Um, that goes on the top of the building and that is it in the wrapper and then you do actually have to get uh, this part off which is the lights and sounds these are super easy you just go like that pop them out so much better than like trying to unwrap those little wire things or anything else look at that easy easy peasies Whoop. matchbox police established 1953 Copy that. Whoop. So that it doesn't look like there is a um, like a sample. Usually there's like a little tab right there that you have to pull out, um, but it doesn't look like this has it. And that does also look like a trigger of some sort. Ooh, that's kind of loud. Um, more cameras. This is nicely detailed. All the all the stuff is detailed nicely. So um, that part we'll put that together. So. Let's go ahead and bust these instructions out. Actually, let me do the normal. Let me put the stickers on it first, and then we will do the assembly here in a second. All right, so the decals are pretty easier. The stickers, um, it's this one on the side. A lot of, there's like four of these lines, like the parking lines. Um, the helicopter one, obviously, which turned out really nice. They look good. The only thing I have to caution um, for you is this, like it can get a little wrinkly if you don't pull it tight enough or get them exact. So just be cautious about how you put those on because the curved ones are always harder. Um, and then these two little ones can be tough if you have large hands um, to get those on, but really that's it. Then there's another one over here. So overall, very easy. These sets are very high quality. The stickers are very precise as always. So no complaints there. So let's go ahead and assemble this sucker. All right, so uh, big base right there goes to the, let's see, little base right here. Are you doing that right? Uh, no, maybe, maybe. Uh. Oh, I'm on the wrong side, I think. Yep. Okay, so it goes like this. It snaps into place very easy. Just like that. Good to go. And then each of the road pieces go over here. So let's see. Just like that. Usually if you hear like the little click, you know that they're um, in place. And even Matchbox puts these little like bang to say like they're snapped into place. So it's just letting you know um, that the, they might, you have, might have to use some pressure. Then they even say A to A align molded letters on parts, which is nice because these actually have letters on them because there are so many of those. So when we get there, we'll take a look at those. So let's go ahead and put the rest of the roads on here. Again, these are the Matchbox Action Drivers Road that also hook to the other Action Driver sets and the Hot Wheels sets, which is cool. Um, and I'll have, I'm once, again, once I get a lot of these, I think there's one more, the Volcano Place at once I get that one, I will do the giant video with all of them because I think at least so far that's all of them um, that we're going to be getting. So stay tuned for that one. I know I've been saying it, but they keep coming out with new ones. So I don't want to do it. I kind of want to wait until we get all of them for the year, the two years, and then put them together that way. So next up is to put all the little pieces, like the accessories into the base. So stoplight goes right there, just like that. The police station sign, whoop, it's double-sided. So I don't think it matters which way it goes in. That snaps in the front yard right there. The little police officer snaps on this little gate. Do you have to turn it? Yeah, I think right here is how it snaps on. Just like that, yep. So that's pretty easy. 
um, the little gate, which has the sticker on this side, it goes this way. So the sticker is sticking out into traffic. It snaps into place right there. Good to go. And then let's see what else this little, um, the, like the maintenance pump of course goes over here by like where the, um, like the jacks are where you drive the, the cars or trucks up on it, just like that. Doo -doo -doo. And I think, um, yeah, the other ones are like the flag and the radar go on top of the building, which we'll put um, together when when it when it's time. So this is probably the most detailed um, instructions that I've seen with the max with an action driver set of all the fence pieces because there are so many. So I'm gonna try to follow them. So let's see what we got. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. So the letters are here, right there on the tab, so you can see C right there and then the base actually has it so there's a b right there there's an a right there so all we have to do is look for c which is over here and then oh, and then the um it goes out like these go out so it should just stick right there boom and it does so you got your little um, gate right there so it's d d looks like it goes over here these are uh, really high quality. If you've never bought one of these, the pieces are very nice. Like even though um, they're a little pliable, they are thick. And I haven't been scared to break really any of the pieces um, from any action driver set, putting them together or playing with them. They are very sturdy, which is another good thing about these sets because they're, they're designed very well. They go together very well. They have nice stickers, but really everything about these sets is nice. So. So you can see it's coming together very nicely there with the fence. This is the odd shaped one. This is G. Uh, let's see where G goes. So G goes, um, right. Am I doing that right? Mm, G, G, G. Is there two of them? Hang on. E, so that says G. Should go, oh, there it goes like that. I was looking at the wrong one. So that one goes there. And then this is E which would go, whoop, let's see. E. Sticks on there just like that. So that's the main fence. And then F is another gate, oh, which goes right here, just like that. So it has like an internal gate, like a little lockup yard, little impound yard. Cool, that's awesome. It looks good so far. Here you can see it. A lot of play space. Man, this one's cool. I really like this so far. Okay, so that was good. That was really the hardest part. Next up, we have the tower. So it says to take the tower, which goes this way, and then this piece right here snaps into the tower. So I'm gonna see if I can make sure I'm doing this right. So it goes like this. I believe it just slides in. Just like that. It snapped down. Oh, oh. There it goes, just like that. So the tabs go on the outside and there it snapped in. So you have like an upper level parking area. You got the little door. So you'll be able to see police cars up here at the top, which is cool. Then the big gate down here, which I don't know where the release is. Oh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, here it is, the release for it. So if you close it, the release is probably going to be, that's probably what the helicopter um, pad is. But if you press down on it, it opens there. So that's that part. And then this part goes like this. Just snaps into the tabs. Boom, like that. Again, once you hear that click, you know you've assembled it correctly. So again, this is pretty sturdy and pretty heavy for being made of plastic. So then the little flag, whoop. A little flag goes in this one, ooh, just like that. And then the little um, satellite dish pops right in there. So it's all set right there. So that is it. Um, I'm trying to think, oh, here's the where the sound box goes. This should slide in there just like this. So it has like a little um, slider in there. So it goes just like this, boom, and it's on. So there it is. So then, we stick it in the base, whoop. Trying to make sure, because it does have a little instruction to make sure you do it right. And there's 
that one stuck in there. There's that one. So there it is, a sturdy, you know you did it if you can pick it up using the, um, like hold the whole base using the tower. So there it is, I think that's it. Let me double check. Is it flat? Yep, looks good. It's all assembled, okay. So then it says to play, so it's all ready to go. Okay, so I'll just kind of do an overview of it real quick, kind of a 360 view. So you can see it. I mean, there's tons of play space on this thing. This is awesome. Huge parking area. So there's a little um, gate that gets separated right there. And there is another gate, where was that? Right here to close it, which is cool because then it separates the area, which I like different play spaces. The fences look good. This little guy, whoop. I'm not exactly sure yet. I wonder if that's what, if the gate pops up, if he swings out to say like, hey, move out of the way. There's cars coming down, but we'll check and see. But man, this looks cool. So, okay. It says, um, okay, push button for emergency alarm, obviously. Then the other first movable piece is the little gate over here, which is pretty simple. Um, it says it has parking spaces up here at the top level um, for the cars, which uh, the Jack was mentioning this on his Facebook post when he sent this to me. There is no ramp to get up here, so it's kind of, uh, it's a little odd to me that they just have like a, I mean, there's no, no way to get up there. So you physically have to place the car, which is weird because Matchbox has been pretty good in the past about putting ramps everywhere. Um, but I guess with the design, for some reason or another, they did not put a ramp with that. So while it's cool, you can see the car through the glass, like so. Um, I have no idea how you get it up or down. So that is a little bit of a design flaw, but does it take away from the coolness of the playset? No, I think it is a little bit, um, like to me, that's a little bit toyish, but from a collector standpoint, I think looking through the glass to have the police cars is pretty cool. So uh, that's a, the only flaw I've seen so far. Uh, let's see what else. So you have the little fuel up area over here, which moves around. It's not anything too crazy, uh, but there you can see you just drive the car whoop, right up on the gate like that, like the little ramps. And then you can, I guess, fuel it up or use that little red thing. Um, it's not a huge detail, but it's there if you want to like maintenance the cars or whatever. Then it has the Matchbox logo everywhere. Really nice. Tons and tons of parking. Lots of room for parking. So the sliding gates they advertise too. So um, we've seen those. Let's see what else. So it says reset before play. So I'm going to try to push the, let's see. So this says to put the police cars here and then take the helicopter. And then when I press on the top, it should open this, let the car out and push this guy forward. So let's see if it works. Emergency reported at Matchbox Airport. Nice. Units, please respond. So it worked, that was pretty cool. So if you had a whole fleet of police cars and did that, it would straight up look like Blues Brothers where there's like a hundred coming out, which is pretty cool. So and then this little guy pops back too. So then you just snap him back into place push the door, um, but you can't re-enter that way. So you, I guess you have to drive around to the, um, this is an exit only, so you'd have to drive, basically drive around the set, come in the back right here, go up through the gate and then park the cars, like pull them up through the ramp this way, which is a huge, huge, um, like look at that. The car is definitely not gonna make it up there, but so there's that, whoop. Let's put a few more, uh, so let's put some, uh, wheels in there real quick and see what it looks like when more take off oh sweet cool so it works pretty well that's not too bad that some of them like some of the releases and and ramps hasn't worked the best on some of these sets but this one works really well really impressed with that so man this one's really cool i'm very much looking forward to stuffing this thing full of police cars because they're what so let's try to count it real quick um obviously you have the road one two three four five technically six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 
Uh, I mean, technically you could put one right here, 14. So there is room for at least a dozen parking spots in this thing, um, especially if you wanted to, if you actually park out here too. Uh, tons of tons of room so the helicopter is also cool i really like that they did that and it has a landing pad um the extra accessories and you can just press the button like the little buttons up here you don't actually have to activate it near the helicopter you can just press it on whenever you want so again another excellent action driver's play set let me know what you think of this in the comments um if you plan on getting this one this is really cool i love how much play space there is um the fire station i think so far is probably my favorite one just because it has um like the parking the lights and sound the cool tower and then the back of it is very similar to the police station where it has a lot of parking a lot of different other things um but i really like the police station i also like the um the auto shop really all of them are good but the ones that have the most play value like this one the fire station um definitely the airport are really really good bangs for your buck so for 20 or 25 dollars this has a lot of play area again this is over a foot over a foot so there's a lot of room for this it connects tons of fun i love these things so again let me know what you think of this one in the comments if you've picked any of these up or are going to be buying all of them the next one that has been teased is the volcano rescue it is going to be the biggest one of the action driver set so far the cheapest i found it is either on entertainment earth or one of the other kind of like obscure die cast resellers and it's right around fifty dollars so that would be the most expensive the one below that would be the airport which was like thirty five dollars um i won't count the one that comes with the airport the hospital and all the other ones for like 70 bucks that's often on sale for like 40 ish so um i'm really excited about that one because it looks to be huge so we'll see what that um when that comes out how much more stuff is in that one compared to the price of because this is half the price of this one and this one has a ton of stuff too so awesome well this has been the matchbox police station dispatch let me know what you think in the comments um i probably said that five times but i like spinning this thing around and looking at it because it's cool and this is the police car is cool too because it's the uh, sky busters police um, which works well for uh, really any police and then because this the action driver set has the airport it works well because that's skybusters is matchbox brand of uh aircraft and it's also the brand of the um top gun that they like the line they have to or skybuster so that's a pretty cool nod to that too so awesome well this is sam 64 wheels i really appreciate you watching and being so involved with these sets um and tagging and commenting it's really cool to see people come together and be pumped about these because these are great sets so um like and subscribe all that good stuff follow me on instagram tiktok facebook lamely group i just did um I have my lamely group article on this little guy the holland class dropped today so go over to um, lamelygroup.com check it out uh, i wrote a little article on it took a bunch of picture pictures so um if you like it share it you know give me comments on that too and then uh, i have a lot more stuff to post so i will see you in the next one thanks guys